Hello and welcome to Lancer Pride Center here on the Granger Lancer Success Network. Today we're going to take a look back at some of Danny's plays this week in the classroom and find out did his choices help lead to that ultimate sign of Lancer Pride, academic success. Uh-oh, Danny's heading into the classroom, still phone in hand. Let's see if he gets connected to that classroom. Because right now, he's just connected to his phone. There we go, there's a thoughtful move. Into the pocket, booyah! Danny's empowered as he's brought his own materials to class. He's ready to go. He's going to get out his notes that he took last time, and he's ready to work. Uh-oh. We may have a problem. Danny's gotten out his phone, and this is not being connected to the class. Uh-oh, Danny, you're not fooling anyone. If you'll notice right here, Danny looks down, away from what the teacher is teaching, pulls out his cell phone, and he is clearly distracted. Oh, there he is, right there. Distracted! That's not Lancer Pride right there, Danny. Let's rewind and give Danny another shot. Here comes Danny again into the classroom. Once again, phone in hand, but we'll see what choices he makes this time. He sets the phone down on the desk, still a danger spot. We'll see what happens. He's once again being thoughtful by getting out his notes, getting ready for class. He's ready to learn. But what's he going to do with that phone? Oh, he's got it. And boom, shakalaka, into the bag. And now Danny is connected to the class. On his second chance, Danny made it happen. He was thoughtful, empowered, connected, ready to learn, and he's gonna get a lot out of that class. Uh-oh, what are you gonna do, Danny? You hear a vibration in your bag. And what started out as so thoughtful and so connected to the class is taking a turn for the worse. Danny, you're not fooling anyone. Texting right there in the middle of class not paying attention. Let's rewind this back. Got another predicament for Danny. Phone once again vibrating in his bag. What's he gonna do this time? Oh, he has silenced the phone. That is empowered if you ask me. Great job, he's ready to learn. He is empowered with his education. The focus is back. As we take a closer look, you'll notice Danny is silencing the phone. He's put it back in his bag, and now he's really ready to learn. Uh-oh, we have another distraction? What's he going into the bag for this time? Looks like he's got a pair of AirPods, and he's going to put one in. He turns it on. Danny? Take your earbuds out and put them away. It's time to get back to work. Danny, you got caught. You weren't being thoughtful. Let's rewind this back and try it again. All right, guys, you now have your assignment. Let's go ahead and get to work. And if you would like, you can use one earbud as we work on this. There it is, Lancer Pride at its best. Danny, you've waited to the appropriate time, been given permission. You are thoughtful by waiting. And now you're being empowered by continuing to work even as you listen to your music. All right, guys, we have about two or three minutes left in class. If you want, go ahead, take out your phones, and you can use them, check your text message or whatever you do. Great job, Danny. Not only has it paid off to be thoughtful, empowered, and connected because you were able to focus and do great in class that day, also the teachers notice and given a little bit of time for students to use electronics. Have a good weekend, guys! Be good, be safe, be careful! Absolutely. 
And that'll do it here today on Lancer Pride Center. Thanks for joining us. And it was pretty apparent. When Danny was thoughtful, empowered, and connected, he was able to be successful at school. When he wasn't, it was more of a struggle. We'll see you next time here on Lancer Pride Center. Thanks for joining us. And as always, stay thoughtful, empowered, and connected. Lancer Pride, baby. Hey guys, thank you guys so much for watching our video. I'm Mr. Munn. I'm Danny Reyes, your student body president. And we're here today, yeah, it was a little bit of fun with the video, uh, but there's a very serious topic at the heart of it. Yeah, absolutely. So to conclude, um, teachers don't want you to put your fun away for no reason. They don't want to do it to, to punish you in any way. They just want you to put your fun away so you can be the best you can be. Um, they want to see you succeed. I want to see you guys succeed. And putting away your fun is basically the start of your success. Yeah, absolutely. And I don't know any teacher who got into education just so they could say, hey, put that phone away. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, teachers want to see you succeed. Every adult here is here because they want you to be successful. And anything that's going to stop you from getting to your hopes, your dreams, whatever success is for you, is something we want to get rid of. And cell phones plays into that. Yeah, absolutely. So I guess you're going to take one thing from this video. It's just don't use your cell phones in class. I mean, if you think about it, you have before school, you have in the hallways to use your phone, during lunch, after school, to text your friends, whatever. Um, but just don't use your phone, guys. Like I said, they just want to see you guys do the best in class so you guys can graduate, get good grades, and everything like that. But um, thank you guys so much for watching the video, and we appreciate your time. And we'll see you guys next time. See ya. See ya.